Hi, my name is Mr. Cadella, and today I'm going to show you how to draw this optical illusion of the hand. First, I'm going to take my hand and lay it flat on my paper, just like this. I don't want to spread out my fingers too far. I want to kind of have them going straight up like this, especially the thumb. You don't want the thumb coming out like this. You want the thumb coming up. And then notice how I have my hand in the middle, not way up here or way down here, just right in the middle here. First thing I'm going to do is outline my hand. Hold your pencil straight up and down. Go carefully around your fingers here. You don't want to tilt your pencil like this. Then you're getting underneath your fingers. You just want to go around them on the edge. Take your time. There we go. All the way down to the bottom. And there's your hand tracing. The next step is to start drawing those lines across. Now all the lines on the background around the hand are going to be straight across. So I'm going to go ahead and start with that. Go straight across here. But when I get to the wrist, down here, when I get to the wrist and the hand, I'm going to curve up like this. You want to make sure it's a tall curve. Not just a short curve, but a tall curve. Makes it look more like it's 3D. Also notice, I stopped in about the same place, the same height. I'm going to do that again. Notice I'm going to leave a gap here. When I get to the wrist, I come up that high arch, come down about the same place, and I just keep going all the way up the hand. Same method. Arch up, come down, just like that. Now when I get up here to this part where the knuckles and this little gap is and where the thumb's at, it's going to get a little bit trickier. Up until now it's been pretty easy, but this time I'm going to get to this gap. I'm going to go back to a straight line because remember this is the background. But when I get back to the thumb, it goes back to an arch, then back to a straight line, just like that. It's going to get a little trickier when I go around the fingers. Go around the hand here, go back to a straight line, come up, arch over, there you go. Now you notice this line's kind of close to this one, so I'm going to go ahead and erase that one. Sometimes you get that. Don't worry about using your eraser, just kind of fix it there. There we go. Come back over these fingers. There's going to be a lot of bumps now, going over the fingers. But it goes back to a straight line, back over the thumb, just like that. Don't worry about using your eraser if you make a little mistake here and there. If you didn't get your arch high enough, or whatever. Now you notice this time I don't have the thumb there, so I'm just going to make it a straight line. It goes back to a straight line. Same thing for this pinky over here. Sometimes you get a trick when you get right to the edge of the finger. I go ahead and put an arch there anyways. Notice this one got pretty close. I just left that a straight line. Come back to a straight line. Now I'm going to go back and check to see if they're kind of even. I noticed this one got a little curve down there. A little too low. So I just erase that. Bring it a little higher. One last little thing I want to talk about is you want to come down here. Notice there's a gap down here. You can't see the straight line because that would be down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little curve here. There we go. Now we're finished. I do want to show you some mistakes that people make sometimes. Sometimes what they do is, like I said, they curve underneath the hand with their outline. They're not holding their pencil straight up and down. They're kind of tilting it down. They kind of get underneath there. And here's what their hand ends up looking like. They kind of go around like this. Then their fingers are super skinny. 
and that's not right. Again, you want to make sure your fingers are going straight up with your thumb and they're nice and neatly outlined, not super skinny like this. And then some people, when they start doing this project, they start doing this. They start angling their line, putting an angle in it like this. Or sometimes the biggest mistake I see is people don't curve up enough, it's just these shallow curves. And they kind of do this thing. Sometimes they get really close like this. Or sometimes it's the opposite. They go way too far like that. And then the biggest mistake I see, especially when they get around the fingers, is they start doing things like this. They kind of forget that they need to go straight over and they end up kind of wandering off like that. Remember, it should be nice and straight across, as straight as you can make it. Sometimes you end up with a gap like this around the thumb, and that's fine. And the other big mistake I see is people, they sometimes forget that the finger ends right there, so you'd have a curve there. But when they start the next one, they start doing this. They just kind of imagine that finger goes up. Nope, only follow the hand outline and stop making those little arches when there's no more finger there. It just goes back to a straight line. 